absolutely no one is talking about this secret online arbitrage sourcing method. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it works step by step and exactly how you can get started finding tons of profitable products fast this week to sell on Amazon for a profit. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 26 year old Amazon seller, and it's my mission to help you build the business or side also of your dreams, flipping name brand products for a profit on Amazon this year. Let's get after it. All right, sweet. Sounds good. So I really see no one talking about this specific product research method and it's super profitable. It's super simple. Even if you're a complete beginner, you can just get going with the stuff instantly today and find lots of profitable products here. And what this specific sourcing method is, it's, it's actually called leaf sourcing. I used to hear people talk about this back in the day, um, basically, but really no one has of late and even not really for online arbitrage types of products specifically. So where I think leaf sourcing makes the most sense is when you actually know where a specific product is coming from, aka it's a brand that's owned by the retailer that sells it or just specifically really only comes from the brand website right here. So I've been seeing Goodfellow and Co and a lot of seller storefronts and I looked up who owns it. I could see it comes from Target and I was just looking around. It seems like Target's the only website that carries these specific brands. So I can actually match up and I know where this inventory is coming from. And then what I can do is I can leverage the Amazon search page to find the specific best performing products in that brand, right? And so all I need to do is go ahead and type in Goodfellow & Co, for example, right here and just plug it in on Amazon. And now leveraging the Amazon search page algorithm, right, which is the best consumer facing algorithm on earth for the most part. Now all these listings that sell really well are going to pop up because it's obviously not going to pop stuff up that isn't selling it. Otherwise, that wouldn't be, you know, how the algorithm worked and everything. And then immediately this strategy got a lot better now that we released SellerAmp Quick View Simplified SellerAmp QVS, which actually displays a lot of the important data on the page right here. So I could see if Amazon was the only one and I could see if it was private label, for example, right here. So make sure you go ahead and get SellerAmp QVS. I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's free with your SellerAmp subscription. It's just a separate Chrome extension you need to install in the Google Chrome store, right? So you could run this for a specific brand right here, right? Or we could just type in like Thanksgiving decorations here and then go ahead and open up any listings that we can see had a bunch of sellers, AK weren't most likely private labels. So for example, this one, obviously I wouldn't open up. It's just one seller, for example, but this strategy gets really good when you search specific brands here. So all I need to do is type in, for example, Goodfellow and Co right here, right? We know Target owns it, right? So you could run this for any sort of, you know, brand product that only comes from the brand website, right? Or the retailer website, right? So for example, here we can see Boom, there's a good listing, most likely right here, right? So we'll open that up. So we're obviously talking about Goodfell and stuff today. So I'm gonna open up products that are under that brand right here. We can see right there as as well here too. We're gonna see if we can go ahead and find anything good and why the strategy works so well is because we already know where these products are coming from, right? And there's tons of small brands that only come from the, the website that carries them basically, right? They only come from one place. So we can go ahead and just uh, open up a whole bunch of these right here. So let's see. So obviously other brands are gonna show up here. <laughs> it looks like it wants to show us Hanes a lot um, right here, which probably means people buy uh, Hanes as well too. We can just go ahead and open up these good phone co listings right here. Obviously some of these are gonna be a little bit slower selling, for example, here as we get deeper in the search page right here, but we can see it's not the biggest brand in the world. So we can just open up a bunch of these specifically right uh, right here. Let's see, are we missing anything else down here as well? Yeah, boom, right here as well too. Right, we can go ahead and open up these. And now, right, utilizing SellerAmp QVS, we can see a bunch of important data right here and we don't necessarily need to open up every specific product here. Right, so now we can go to this listing right here to start off. Right, we can go ahead and take a look at it here. Pop up SellerAmp. Right, you're going to need SellerAmp and Key before this, and SellerAmp QVS, which is free with your SellerAmp subscription, but you do need all three Chrome extensions here. And now, right, this is going to be a full tutorial on SellerAmp and Keepa here. But right off the bat, right, I can see it's a good sales rank here. It's not amazing, but during Q4, it's not bad. Estimated sales per month, especially during Q4, tends to be a little bit underestimated. Right, and then all I want to do here is go to the variations on Keepa because I know there's different colors, different sizes, etc. Right. And then I can see these are going for $35 in the buy box. Now they have no reviews, but we can see nice offer count movement here. So I know this listing actually sells. Right. So let's go ahead and see what we can pay for this guys here. Right. And this is just such a simple like way to source. I don't know why more people don't talk about it here, basically, but it's a really, really good thing here. So we can see 35, for example. Right. So let's go ahead and plug this in on Google here. Right. And we can see, yeah, there we go. Targets where the stuff comes from here. So we can open these bad boys up here. Right. So we can see it's going for 17 bucks on the target website here. So for example, we plug in 17 into 35, actually pretty close, right? If you're a beginner though, I'd recommend, you know, stay below like 150, 200 K for the most part. Q4, you can go a little bit higher sales rank wise. Obviously you want the lower the sales rank, the better though, right? For how fast something sells, right? And then $3 plus profit per unit and a 13% ROI. So this is not quite there, unfortunately, 
but we'll check Keepa and see if this has ever been profitable over time. And we can see pretty much between like June 15th and like, you know, July 22nd, this was nice and profitable. So at 38, 39, 40, where this was, this actually has been a profitable product at certain times. So what I'd probably do on this item is go to track product on Keepa and actually go ahead and set it up. So I get an email notification when this listing goes above 40 and becomes profitable again right here. So, and then add it to a seller amp spreadsheet as well. Just using the one click Google Sheets export feature in Seller Amp right here, I'd probably make like a good fellow brand or whatever your favorite brands right there. Not quite there though. Take a look at this right here. We can see this listing is a 2 million rank. So I'm absolutely going to pass on that, right? Way too high sales rank here. Let's check these out right here. So we can see this listing probably too high a sales rank here, but we'll check the variation, see if there's anything with a uh, really good offer count movement specifically. Rare so we can see. I mean, that's fine, for example, right? It's got no buy box. Don't automatically be afraid of stuff with no buy box here. Let's see, so this is going, no buy box here at, yeah, 32 bucks, right? So let's see, so we wanna pay, let's see here, yeah, 14.99 or less right here. And we can see, boom, here we go, 16.5 right here. Let's see, these guys uh, these guys match up here. Yeah, six pack right here. So 16.15 right here, right? I do have sales tax factored in on seller amp here, right? So we can see 20% ROI here. We can go ahead and see the discounted gift card situation on a Target, for example, right here, which we can see. Gift card savings has 9% off right now. Discounted gift cards from Cardware and Top Cash Back are a major gem. So now we can go ahead and take off this 9% right here, right? And we can see this listing actually gets pretty close here, for example, right? And then let's inspect the Keepa and see, unfortunately, the price is trending down on this specific product. So I would unfortunately not like that just because the price is trending down, although it has been there for about two weeks here. This is a very historically profitable product here. It's just not quite there specifically right now, but does have a lot of history. I would probably want to keep alert that one as well. And any of you guys who have spent time doing product research, I mean, you know, like it's hard to find profitable products when you're a beginner, right? And this strategy has really high accuracy because we know when we look up a specific brand, especially when we know where it's coming from, right? There's really one source to take a look at right out right here. So we can see there's like 36, for example, in the buy box here. Right, so at 36.5 here, max cost about 17. So we just want to plug those in on Google here. We can see 19, not quite there, even with the gift card here. Um, however, we can see there's no variations on this. So let's go ahead and look up if there is a main listing that has a bunch of colors and sizes on it. Right here, so let's see. So let's see, a 37 here. Okay, looks like there's two potentially right here. Let's take a look. All right, so we'll just let these guys in. Shout out QVS for giving us that uh, that data on the search page right uh, right here as well. We can see that's an excellent looking chart here. All right, let's take a look at the variations as uh, as well here too. And we can see, boom, yeah, 44 right here, for example, right? And 39, so plugging those bad boys in here, right? We can see 19, right? This probably makes sense here. So we can see, right, comp's trending up a bit here. Largely has been stable for like a week there. And then comp actually trending down here as well too. So let's see at 44 right here. Right, we can take a look and see, right? FBM buy box, that's a great sign when it's a merch fulfilled seller in the buy box here, right? So for example, 19 here, already nice and profitable, right? And then we'll take off 9% from this as us well too. And we can see that's a nice profitable skew, y'all, but does it actually sell? And we can see totally does considering the, the seller count on October 16th was five. And then the seller count today is seven is two, for example, two days later, right? And we can see there was also another good variation on that too. And now you could also use this as a good place to start out storefront stalking as well too, and, uh, and everything. And for anyone worried about on getting to target or work front getting as well, but this is much more a conceptual video about how to use leaf sourcing to find other good products that are reseller friendly. When you know a brand only comes from one place, you can just use the Amazon search algorithm to find the best listings and match it over the specific website. Just plug it in right there. We can see this definitely does not sell. Let's see, we can take a look at these as uh, as well too. Let's see, yeah, a little bit higher rank here, but uh, I mean, shoes, clothing, jewelry is a monster big category here. So let's see, so these are buy boxing at 37 here. It's an FBM star in the buy box too. Right, so we know if we were FBA, because Amazon wants to give the buy box to FBA sellers, we would be able to price this higher. For example, right here, right. So we can take a look. See, private label alert, just due to low competition, does not look like the brand's carrying this, right here. And we can see here, right. Yeah, so we can see it, right. So 19 on this here. So let's say, got that specific color right here. Boom, black, gray, navy here. Yeah, so we can see, boom, right there. So 19 here, right. And then buy boxing at 36, right here. However. Right, you want to take off that discounted gift card here. Boom. And we know that this is an FBM seller in the buy box because we can see it doesn't ship from Amazon, it ships from the customer. And if we were to FBA this, you can typically price five to 10% higher here. So, so let's say we add in like, you know, 7%, for example. So plus 7% here, 
right now, this listing becomes even higher, specifically right here, right? And we'd see like 36.25 here. We can take this up to like 39, for example, right here. That's a nice profitable skew, y'all. And that's after shipping, fees, sales tax, et cetera. This <laughs> calculator is a little bit off there, right? But we can see nice item there. And we can see literally in the past couple of days, the buy box has been higher too. So we're consistently profitable on this skew and it's never really been FBA stars in the buy box by the look of it, right? So we might even be able to go a little bit higher there too, honestly, right there. And that's because basically Amazon wants to give the buy box to FBA sellers. And when you see the, something that's dominated by FBM sellers, you know, you can price higher right there. So that's the name of the game with the uh, leaf sourcing specifically guys, right? So we can plug these guys in as well too. We can see 44, plug that in here, these t-shirts right there. Yeah. 17, right? So, and that's the name of the game with leaf sourcing guys is just when you know where a brand comes from, which you figure out, just Googling it, you can learn new brands by storefront stocking literally off the winning products we took a look at in, uh, in this video. Then you go ahead and just plug them in on the Amazon search page, use seller amp QVS to find the best listings. The Amazon search algorithm helps out a lot with that open them up, then just go ahead and plug those procs in on Google specifically right there. And that's the name of the game. So where this makes the most sense, guys, is definitely on brands where you know where they're coming from. So Walmart, private label brands, Target, private label brands, really any specific type of product where when you Google it, only one retailer comes up, whether that's a brand retailer or just a big retailer that owns the brand or has exclusive with them, for example. So make sure you're implementing leaf sourcing on top of your normal storefront stocking and eventual manual sourcing on your favorite websites as you go ahead and track down profitable products, guys. If you want to source directly with me live one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom, now's a great time to take a look at the link in the description for my coach program application. You can see some of the different sellers we helped. We'll pop a whole bunch of them up on screen right now as well. So if you want to work together one-on-one -on -one with me to scale up for Q4 and be coached directly by me, take a look at the coaching program application link in the description. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more. Check out this video for more of your game and I'll see you guys in the next one.